The OnePlus 11 has been spotted on 10i and what this means is that some of the rumored specifications seem to be confirmed. This and more in today's episode. Hello and welcome to a fresh new episode of Daily Fiber. I'm your host Aman Rashid and before we get on with the rest of the episode, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. So yesterday only I was telling you about the Galaxy S23 series and how the launch could be delayed. Well, a new report is suggesting that the launch is very well on track and it could take place uh, on February 1st. Now I know this is very confusing. Some reports are saying that it's delayed. Some reports are saying that, okay, it's on track. And uh, by the way, Samsung has not confirmed any of this. But you know, this uh, recent report, uh, this one, according to this, uh, the February 1st has been set as the official date for the global launch of the Galaxy S23 series. Again, rumors, not like this is not official, not confirmed. But I think so that this report might be the real deal because you know, the tipster behind the sleek distribution is Ice Universe and has a decent track record in regard to Samsung device. So I am, I totally believe that this could be the real deal. The Samsung S23 series could come on February 1st. But again, February is very soon and we'll get to know more once the device actually become official. Now, if you want to know about the leaked rumors specifications uh, surrounding the Galaxy S23 series, I made a video on the topic. You can check it out in the card above. Samsung makes a lot of mid-range smartphones and uh, specifically Samsung makes the Galaxy A series smartphones which generates a lot of revenue for the smartphone manufacturer and by the end of every year you know we start hearing about uh, the rumors and specifications about the upcoming uh, A series smartphones in uh, this current scenario we are already hearing the tidbits the industry tidbits about the Galaxy A14 the A24 the A34 and the A54 what we do not know about is the Galaxy A74 now a report from uh, a report from the Galaxy Club uh, folks at Gla Galaxy Club have reported that uh, there's no existence no rumors no information regarding that Gal Galaxy A74 which could suggest that uh, that phone may not be coming in 2023 and which also suggests that the Galaxy A54 could be the most expensive smartphone in the Galaxy A lineup. Now, what do we know about the Galaxy A54? Well, uh, I did read a few reports here and there on the web and uh, the Galaxy A54 could come with a 6.5, uh, 6.4 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display, 120 Hz refresh rate. There could be a 50 megapixel OIS main camera, 32 megapixel camera at the front, IP68 rating, 5000 mAh battery. So all these specifications are being, uh, are being tipped uh, on the web. Now, one interesting, uh, one interesting addition to all of this is the presence of the Exynos 1380 chipset and uh, Samsung is hoping to bring a boost in the performance of the Galaxy A54 with this new chipset but you know, I am not very optimistic about it because last I checked the Galaxy A52s came with the Snapdragon 778G processor, amazing smartphone, amazing performance but you know, the same performance I did not see on the Galaxy A53, I was rather underwhelmed with that uh, Exynos 1080 processor in the Galaxy A53. So of course, I will be reserving my final judgment about the Galaxy A54 and the Exynos 1380 chipset once, I, uh, once I'm able to test the product. But yeah, for now, uh, the Galaxy A74 is not coming, most probably. But uh, let's see from, uh, like, let's see where it goes from here. It's a new day and we have some new development regarding the OnePlus 11. So what we know so far is that the OnePlus 11 will be launched alongside the OnePlus Buds 2 Pro. On February 7th, the event is called Cloud 11 and we are all excited about it. Now, we also have a fair idea about the rumored specifications about the device. But now the phone has been spotted on 10 and those rumored specifications seem to be confirmed. I mean, the 10 listing could not be taken as a surety of things, but it does give us a fair idea about out what is uh, incoming with the OnePlus 11. So according to the listing on Tena, the OnePlus 11 could feature a 10-bit 6.7-inch AMOLED screen with Quad HD Plus resolution. There are going to be two RAM and storage options that is 12 and 16 GB along with 256 GB and 512 GB storage. Additionally, the phone seems to carry a 50 megapixel triple rear camera setup along with a 32 megapixel front camera. The listing also confirms uh, that uh, the phone will be powered by an unnamed octa-core processor. 
processor, but we already know OnePlus has confirmed that the OnePlus 11 will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset. And as for the rest, I am looking forward to the Cloud 11 event on February 7th. Are you? Netflix has been long trying to crack down on the password sharing situation and uh, because of this password sharing situation, the company has seen a dip in their revenue for the first time in the last 10 years. The subscriber base has gone down and the company is trying their best to curb this issue but they are not able to do so and so going forward in 2023 if you will be sharing your password with a friend or family or any relative outside your household basically then that person will have to pay for the subscription so of course this password sharing uh, testing is already going on in some latin american uh, countries where the users who are sharing their passwords outside the household so that per person has to pay a fee of three dollars which is about 250 rupees and if something like this gets implemented in india we can expect to see the same kind of pricing for the Indian market as well. I mean, to say that uh, the pricing could be on the global level, on par with the global pricing. So that could be seen, but uh, the main question remains like, how will Netflix implement such a thing in India? I mean, how will a password sharing situation be determined by Netflix? That remains to be seen. The MacBook Air M1 is the most efficient laptop that money can buy. I mean, both in terms of price and performance, the MacBook Air is the best. I mean, I'm also using the MacBook Air M1. This is my favorite laptop. I think this is the best when it comes to productivity. And uh, when Apple, you know, revised the pricing of its MacBook laptops, the prices were hiked. The new price that was set for this machine was 1 lakh rupees. But in this current Flipkart deal, in today's Flipkart deal, the MacBook Air M1 prices has been slashed. There's a discount of 13,000 rupees, which brings down the price to 86,990 rupees. That's a flat 13,000 discount. And if you have an HDFC card on you, then you can get an instant discount, a further instant discount of 10,000 more, which brings down the price to about 76,990, which is what? 77,000 rupees. And then that's not all. There's an exchange bonus as well of 17,300 rupees. So even if you're able to manage what, about 10, 15,000 on your old laptop, then also you'll be able to get the MacBook Air M1 with all the price, with all the, you know, deals and discounts offers for about 60 to 65,000 rupees. And for that kind of money, this one is a killer deal. So are you getting one for yourself? Let me know in the comments. And that's all for this edition of Daily Fiber. What are your thoughts on today's episode? Let me know everything in the comments below. And as always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Fiber. I'll catch you all in the fresh new episode tomorrow. Till then, take care of yourself. Thank you for watching.